Today, I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of the Alexa Echo Spot. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as an Alexa Echo Spot expert. Let's get started. So you can see here on the very front of the packaging, we have an image of the device, the Alexa logo and the title Echo Spot. On the side here, we've got some stats for the device and more stats on the back, some phrases that you can ask it and then some more details on the side here. Smart speaker with display plus Alexa. And then on the top here, you've got the Amazon logo and a little pull tab to open it up. So let's go ahead without further ado and open up this box and see what it looks like to set up this Alexa device. So we'll just go ahead and peel the strap, a little sticker there, and then we can open the box up just like this. And we are first presented with the brand new Echo Spot. We can go ahead and pull it out just like that and set it on the table. I'll slide it back here and see what else is in the box. So there's a little cardboard switch right here. You can pull that out and we've got the power adapter and some information here. So it looks like it came with an Echo Spot, like a quick guide to get started in English and various different languages and some more safety and product information. So standard typical information here, but we've got the power adapter. That's an important part. If we take a look at the Echo Spot here, on the top, we've got the, the volume down button, the volume up button, the mute switch, which disables the microphone. And um, on the back here, we've got the plug where you plug it up for power. So let's go ahead and plug this device up, get it some power, and then connect it to our Alexa app that we can download on our phone. So you'll either need an Android device or an iPhone, and we'll plug this power cable into the back there, just like that. And I'm gonna plug this other end into the wall and boot it up for the very first time. So you can go ahead and open up your app store and search for the Alexa app in order to get started. And once we get this connected to power, I'll go ahead and demo that for you. So I've plugged it in and we've got the Amazon logo popping up right here on the screen. So it says Amazon. Now what makes this new Echo Spot really nice is this screen right here at the top. Uh, it's a brand new addition to the Echo lineup where you have a screen device. So when you interact with it, it's got the Echo logo right now moving around. When you interact with it, it can show you things. Um, unlike most previous, you know, Echo Dots that won't have a screen attached to them. So next up, scan to open the Alexa app. So all you have to do is just go to your camera application and then bring up your device here. You can scan to open the Alexa app and it plays a nice little tone there as it sets Bringing up. Bringing your device online, just a moment. And just like this, we have opened the Alexa app and it is searching. So it's bringing the device online. It's searching for the Alexa app and all the good signals there. Um, so it's playing a nice little tone, it's connecting and we are almost good to go. So one thing that's really cool about this technology is when you buy one from Amazon, you can typically link your Amazon account and previous Alexa devices to it. So when you purchase it, you don't have to go through the complete setup process all over again. I'm going to make a few updates to your device. While I do this, please continue setup in the Alexa app. All right, so which device would you like to set up? So we can go ahead and say Echo. We'll go ahead and tap on Echo. Is your Echo plugged in and displaying an orange light? It's plugged in, but it's updating. I don't see an orange light, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and say no. It says no orange light. I can press the buttons. So I'm not gonna continue, I'm not gonna reset it while it's updating, but we'll go ahead and hit continue for now. If I hit yes, let's see if it can still search it even though it's not displaying an orange light. So it's searching for the device and make sure that your device is nearby, plugged in, and in setup mode. So our device is in an updating mode, which isn't exactly setup mode, so I don't think they will talk to each other and compare uh, wirelessly right now. So we're going to let, let this update finish, and then after it finishes, we'll be able to successfully use it um, and check it out. So a really cool software update going on. It's got some images rotating and animating here from music to calendar to all the various things you can do with the Alexa, like seeing your packages on Amazon. And it's got a progress bar and a half arc circle there um, where it's slowly updating the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this device update. And then after it updates, we'll be able to pair it to our Alexa app and move forward with setting this up. 
Check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, where you can get a $30 bonus today when you sign up using the link in the description, at find.org slash Rakuten. You can shop at your favorite stores with over 3,500 stores to check out, and you install the plugin, create an account on Rakuten, and earn cash back today. It's really cool that you can come here and get paid to shop, and of course you can earn your $30 bonus today using the link in the description. This helps out the AppFind channel a lot, so check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, using the link appfind.org slash Rakuten. So after a lengthy update process, the Echo is finally restarting. This took about 30, 45 minutes, and I think it really revolved around my Wi-Fi connection. It may have been downloading the update as it processed, and that may have been a lot slower. So if you have a faster Wi-Fi connection, it may be shorter um, than it was for me. It's almost done here. It's got the three dots going across and we'll be able to use this device for the very first time. So when setting up this Echo Spot, you do have to do a mandatory update. It connects to the Wi-Fi and it processes that update. And depending on your internet connection, it may take longer or shorter. We got a little tone there. Our Echo listener. is ready. Our Echo is ready. We're good to go. Um, so almost done here. Still got three dots crossing across the screen right here. It turns black and it's loading. And we're almost good to go and ready to use this brand new Amazon Alexa Echo Spot. Now it's got three white dots loading. And you now we're presented with the time and the date. And that's really cool. We've got everything we needed. It's gone through the update process. And this is what our new device looks like. You can see you've got it plugged in, in the back. You've got your options up here for the volume and the, the mic muting. And then you can swipe down here and get access to all the menu options. Um, we'll take a look at those in a bit, but that's something like the brightness. You have the time. And now I can say, hey Alexa, what's the weather? The current weather is 67 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Tonight, you can expect just a few clouds in the sky with a low of 56 degrees. So you can see here it has the image of the weather in the background, the high and the low. And you've got this beautiful top screen here to let us know that information, which is really cool. Alexa, set a timer for five seconds. Five seconds, starting now. So we've got a timer going on, and we can see on the screen the beautiful timer, and it goes off in one second, zero second. This all is a touch screen, so I can just check it off to, to allow the timer to stop, or I can say, Alexa, stop timer. And it's listening, there's no timer set, so a little blue bar pops open at the bottom right here while it's listening. Now, let's take a look at these options in if we swipe down for our control. So the first one you saw earlier is the brightness. Next to brightness, you've got home. So anytime you want to, if you want to go back to home where the clock is, you just swipe down and you press the home button and it takes you back to the clock and the time. Now you can swipe down and adjust the brightness of the screen. We can turn the brightness up like just like this, just by sliding, or we can turn it down by, by sliding it to the bottom. So we'll turn it back up just for good brightness there. The second option is we can swipe down and we've got do not disturb. Now with do not disturb, you won't get any notifications. Alexa won't bother you. Um, it'll be completely silent. And the only way to get notifications or alerts is by disabling do not disturb. So we can swipe down here. You just press it one more time and that turns it off. And the final button that we have on the right side is the settings. We can come over here and see all of the various different settings for this Echo Spot. So let's dive right here into all of them. So the first option we have under settings is clock and theme. You can tap on this and adjust things like the clock face, the theme, and the format. First off, with the face, you've got various different options of faces here. So you can scroll through them and see which one you like. You know, they've got digital clocks and they've got one analog clock here. So we can switch over to the analog clock, press the check mark, and then it redesigns the face. So now when you're on the home screen, you have a completely different style. And you can change this up as many times as you'd like. All you have to do to change it is just swipe right back down from the top there, click on your settings, go into the clock theme, tap on the clock face, and then you can select another face. So say we want a different style for the digital, we can tap on 1025 there and press the check mark. And now we've got this very you know, unique style, a different clock face. So when we're looking at our Alexa Echo Spot by Amazon here, it's presented in a unique style that looks great for you. So you can just swipe down, press the settings button, go to clock and theme, and clock face is where you can modify all the different themes here and the faces that they have for your watch time. 
Next up under clock and theme, next up under clock and theme is the actual theme itself. So you can change the color. You've got blue, or you can change it to orange, purple, green, pink, and another darker shade of green or teal. So I'm going to select the green, press the check mark, and now instead of seeing the traditional Alexa blue, we've got a little green color here. Today's video is sponsored by a children's book titled Enough, A Best Self Adventure. You can purchase this book using the Amazon link in the comments and description below. This is perfect if you have kids or if you have family members and you want them to live their happiest childhood. You can check out Enough, A Best Self Adventure using the Amazon link in the description below. You can see the incredible illustrations alongside of the text here. So you can go ahead and check out this book titled Enough, A Best Self-Adventure, perfect for young children in the description below and purchase your very own copy today. So we've got uh, the time with that, that current theme of green and we can go ahead and swipe down, press settings, go to clock and theme, check out our clock faces and it even updates the theme color for the clock faces. Now that we've changed it to green, all of them show up in green. So really cool feature that they've got there under clock and theme. You can change the color of your theme and you can change the style of your clock face. The last thing they have under clock and theme is the clock format and where you can switch it to a 24 hour clock. So now once that selection is swiped on just like that, we can go back and we've got our clock format in 24 hours rather than the 12 hour standard here in the United States. So you just go into settings, clock theme, clock format. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And then I can swipe down, press the home button, go home immediately, just like that. So those are our clock settings. If we were to swipe down, go into settings, go to clock and theme. These are all the settings here to adjust on your, your clock and theme. So you can change the color with color theme. You can change the, uh, the face with clock face. And you can change the format of the time, whether it's 24 hours or 12 hours with clock format. Really cool options that we've got there. Next up is Bluetooth. This is perfect if you want to pair your, your mobile phone or a, um, you know, a device to the, the speaker system here. So if we were to activate that, you, you can also do this through voice commands. You can say, Alexa, pair Bluetooth. So let's see if we can, let's try going home. It's searching for Bluetooth right now. Alexa, connect to Bluetooth. Searching. So now we use the voice. I don't see anything to connect. Check the device you'd like to use and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. To set up a new device, go to your Alexa app. All right, so I've got my Bluetooth settings open right here. Alexa, search for Bluetooth. Searching, I don't see anything to connect. Check the device you'd like to use and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. To set cool. up a new device, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the Bluetooth settings right here. And we can see all the various different devices that are nearby. We've got some TVs that are nearby and some various different devices. I already see right here other devices Echo Spot. So I can see it on my device that Bluetooth is ready to be connected. Now it looks like there are some devices that are ready to be connected here, but Alexa is not properly showing their name. It's showing more of a you know serial number here. Um, so in order, order for us to connect, We'll want to find the device with our name on it. This is the name of my device. So I'm going to go ahead and tap it and it's going to start pairing. Um, so I'll go ahead and tap that device and it is pairing with it right now. Um, and then same here on this device, I can see that it your has device been... wasn't paired. Your device wasn't paired. So we've got some technical difficulties there. So it was not paired with Alexa just by tapping on it. I can try it from my phone if I scroll down to the very end again, we can try getting other devices um, and see what happens. So I'm going to exit the Bluetooth menu, tap on the Bluetooth settings one more time and scroll down and let it search. And then here we've got an Echo Spot 2GJ. You just tap on that one time and it should automatically connect and success. You heard the now tone. Now connected to Bluetooth. Now connected to Bluetooth. So just like that, we're able to use this Echo Spot as a Bluetooth, Bluetooth speaker and we can stream our music. Now for this video, I can't stream any copyrighted music for you, but um, I can come in here and play maybe one of our videos. If we're to tap on our, um, our video here, we can play a short 
in the activity tab, you can come over here and you can see when you're moving, you know, how active you were. So you can see the goal progress. Uh, right now the goal set for 600 calories. I've got so we've got a short there. I'm using the Alexa as the speaker. So no matter what I play on my phone here, it will come out of the Alexa. You can check out the Bluetooth setting. I missed setting. something. Can you say it again? So with that being the wake word, oops, I want to hit back. With that being the wake word, it's listening Your to Your device me. wasn't paired. So we've got all of our device settings right here for Bluetooth. You can see that I was connected to the Echo Spot and anytime I play anything, it will play out of the speaker. So that's a really cool feature that they baked right here into the Alexa. You just go into settings, you go to Bluetooth and you can connect a phone or a computer and play, mm -hmm. um, you can play music or audio through Bluetooth to this device. Next up is the display. So the display, you've got things like brightness. We quickly access these with the drop down menu from swiping from the top. You've got adaptive brightness, which automatically adjusts screen brightness based off available light, which is already enabled. And then you've got night mode, which is enabled and it shows a darkened screen at night. Next up, we've got, let's see, sounds. So we can tap on sounds and you've got media volume, so you can control the volume of the actual uh, speaker itself right here. Now you can also use the volume buttons on the top. You see as I press the buttons on the top here, it goes up, and then when I press the down, it goes down. So you've got media volumes on the top right, top left, and you can also adjust them in settings just like this. And then you've also got sounds for alarms, timers, notifications, and volumes. So right now that's about halfway, but we can come in here, we can move it all the way up or move it all the way down. We can set the alarm timers and notifications volume to however we like, whether we want it you know, halfway or less or more. So those are the sounds that we have right there. So we'll go ahead and hit the back button and see what's next. Next up is device options. So we can see the current software version that we just updated to OS 1.1. We can do a factory reset. We see the serial number and more. And that's what we have there on our device options. You've got things like help where you can get support. You can go to the settings app in your Alexa to get support. Um, you've got Alexa privacy, accessibility, legal and compliance. So those are the settings right here on our Echo Spot. I can hit the back button and it takes us to the home screen with the time. So Alexa is great for being able to ask things like what the weather is or to control your smart lights or to be able to look up information. You can you know, use Alexa for anything. All you have to do is just say that magical word, Alexa, tell me a joke. What's black and white and dead all over? Beetlejuice. There we go. And if you're a fan of the ghost with the most, I've got jokes galore in the new Beetlejuice Beetlejuice movie theme. To bring this theme to life, just say Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. So we've got a Beetlejuice joke there. We can use Alexa to turn off the light. So if you've connected your smart lights in the Alexa app, you can say, Alexa, turn off all lights. Alexa, turn off all lights. Okay. And just like that, it turns off all the lights in the house. We can press this power on button and the lights will come back on. Um, so you can manage your smart lights inside of Alexa, just like this, which is really cool. And now to show you even more, uh, Alexa is really powerful when you open up the Alexa app and you set various routines, but we can see more details. You just open up the Alexa app. And you may be thinking, how does this Alexa already show up in my account? Well, remember when you purchase it on Amazon, it links this device to your account. So if Amazon already has your Wi-Fi password from previous Alexas, your setup will be very easy compared to having to manually do it. We can finish the Echo Spot setup just by tapping on it right here. We'll select English as our language. You've got other languages. We can go ahead and hit continue. You can go ahead and select the location for your device, and then you can select where it's at. Well, for us, it's in an office, and we'll go ahead and hit continue. So just giving it um, all the different options here. You can go ahead and choose your clock display. We saw a little bit of this on the device itself. Um, so it's taking a little while to load in these clock displays, but I'm already set on this one. So we've got the current one selected, but you can see a bigger view of all of them right here. We'll go ahead and keep it. You can snooze with the tap. Need a few more minutes to snooze an alarm. Firmly press the top of your Alexa device with more than one finger. So you just press it with more than one finger and 
it snoozes the device just like that. We can go ahead and hit continue. You can turn on Amazon Sidewalk, which allows your Alexa devices and Amazon devices to talk to each other and also other people's um, and create kind of like a network so they can con connect and share data between each other. So it benefits you and your neighbors because the sidewalk bridges um, are able to help devices um, you know, work with longer distances. It creates like a stronger radio connection between all of your different devices along with your neighbor's devices. I'm gonna go ahead and disable this for now just by pressing the disable button right there. And then we are able to move on and see what else we have in order to finish up the setup process for our Alexa device. So it's got the three dots, it's loading. Um, it's offering a digital subscription, Amazon Kids Plus. I'm gonna go ahead and say no thanks, but this is great if you have kids to set limits and to have access. Um, you can put this in a kid's room and they can have access to all the you know various different brands, Disney, Lego, iHeartRadio, and more. So I'll go ahead and decline that. And now we're good to go. Get started with Alexa. You can explore what it can do. So I'll press that let's go button. And now I'm presented with Alexa. You can see some of my smart lights here that are on the home. Um, and just like this, I can go ahead and tap on one and turn one off. Um, and you can check out our Philips Hue Smart Light Complete Beginner's Guide to see how you can connect all of your different lights to Alexa. Um, it's a really cool piece of software where, you know, you, you buy a light bulb from Philips Hue or any manufacturer for that matter that's smart and connects and works with Alexa. You just add the device with the plus button on the top, you select light and then you are able to select that brand of light and then immediately connect it to your Alexa device and then control it using something like the Echo Spot that we have here where you can say the magic wake word and then say turn on light or turn off light. You can come over to devices and we can see here that we have Justin's Echo Spot right here. I can drop into it. You can see that it's streaming Bluetooth audio from this phone. I can turn on do not disturb. I can adjust the volume in real time here remotely from my phone which is really handy. You can see that this dynamic island iPhone is connected and the status of the network is not available for the Wi-Fi right here and Bluetooth connections are good to go. So you, we can adjust the settings, similar settings that we found right here on the device itself, right here from the Alexa app. So really cool that we can come in here. We've got a clock face, clock and theme, general, and more. So very similar access that we have in the Alexa app to be able to come in here and control our devices. Um, so really awesome app that they've developed. You can control your Alexa remotely. You can monitor the settings of it. You can stream music to it through Bluetooth and you can ask it any questions. You know, you can say, Alexa, what's the stock price of Amazon? When the market closed, Amazon.com traded at 162 US dollars and 77 cents on the NASDAQ, up half a percent since previous close. Great, Alexa. Who's the current CEO of uh, Amazon? On July 5th, 2021, Andy Jassy became the chief executive officer of Amazon, while Jeff Bezos transitioned to the role of executive chair. In his last shareholder meeting as Amazon's CEO, Bezos said, we chose that date because it's sentimental for me. The day Amazon was incorporated in 1994, exactly 27 years ago. So really cool. You can ask it, you know, questions to look up information. You can ask it things around the house. You can set alarms and timers like we did earlier. So really cool options that we've got right here with the Echo Spot here by Alexa, by Amazon. Um, so really cool device. Want to promote your business in front of tech enthusiasts? You can sponsor AppFind to get a shout out on a video or even your own dedicated video. To learn more, see our rate card and request a sponsorship. You can click our link in the description to Passion Fruit to learn more and inquire about a sponsorship. So this has been a complete beginner's guide of the Amazon Echo Spot, where it's got a lovely screen that has a ton of information here that you can check out, a great clock face, and more. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and let us know what your favorite feature of the Amazon Echo Spot is in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next technology video. We love producing these for you and can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.